education system is not immune to the dispensational changes taking place. Often called disruptions, these dynamics of the 21st century has necessitated a rethink in the way education is served. For instance, a consequence of such changes is the problem of skills gap and skills mismatch. A 2012 McKinsey report noted that young people can't find jobs, yet employers can't find people with the right entry-level skills. Obviously, the 21st century skill set in demand are different from what a 20th century classroom and system of education offers. Invariably, there's a need for a holistic approach in contrast to short-term piecemeal interventions to manage disruptions, close the gap, and become responsive innovation ops. Technical and vocational education and training, TVET, is skills-based, and skills by disposition is dynamic. In fact, recent statistics from World Economic Forum indicate the rate of change of skills in the 21st century will be higher than previous dispensations. Previously, I had laid out the need for a paradigm shift by educators and institutions due to digital trends. Professor Tony Bates, in his book, Teaching in the Digital Age, also outlined the market and a different set of learners as drivers of change. Both assertions were corroborated by the recent World Economic Forum report. Therefore, this ambitious project by UNESCO in Evo is timely and of great importance as a lot of TV stakeholders, policymakers, institutions, educators, parents, and even graduates and students struggle or grapple with adapting to life in the 21st century. As it is, to remain relevant, TVET institutions must be realistic about the dynamics of their environment and then be responsive. Interestingly, there are already promising practices of innovation in TVET schools across the globe and over the years, and this work will unveil and analyze those trends through inquiry into skills ecosystems, TVET products and processes, engaging in participatory conversation investigating the impact of school industry relationship on innovation, employing divergent thinking to learn seemingly unconnected factors which affect the bottom line. This work, which employs a human-centered design approach, is also an opportunity to investigate and build capacity for systemic and holistic culture and paradigm shift for innovation in the skill sector, taking a cue from transcultural generational shift. It's also an opportunity to learn how such promising practices will scale across systems, institutions, and geographic boundaries. It is an opportunity to represent and engage more stakeholders, especially youth, in the discourse about their future. It is also to enlarge and expand participation, which will help build capacity for increased knowledge base and awareness. In closing, civic institutions must be locally responsible while globally realistic of trends. This work will learn from existing innovation in TVET and invest a knowledge base required to transform into innovation orbs. I am confident that at the end of the project and process, we'll have demystified how TVET institutions can take the path of transformation into innovation orbs, inclusive and responsive to the needs of their immediate and global community. As a value creator, I put forward my application to lead and add value on this project. Thank you.